I actually am not that big of a beer drinker. I like the occasional beer, but um, I drank very few of the cans that are on the shelves here, to be honest with you. My name is Jeff Lebo, and I collect beer cans and breweriana, which is anything having to do with beer history. My dad started working for American Can Company back in the 1950s, and so I sort of was introduced at a very early age to cans. I remember when I was maybe five years old, we went in to see dad working, and I remember seeing all these cans flying around. I was just kind of fascinated from a very early age. And then when I became a teenager, beer can collecting was really a popular hobby among kids of that era from the 1970s and early 80s. It was one of those things that was, you know, slightly naughty when you were a little kid to be doing that sort of thing, but definitely worse things I could have been doing. The group of collectors, you know, most of us know each other to some degree, so we kind of know who has the largest collections out there, and unless there's some closet collector out there that's completely unknown to the rest of us, mine is the largest. This was technically the very first beer can that was ever produced. This was by American Can Company, and they had salesmen that would go out to the breweries to try to pitch this idea of this new can. And this is the can that they used to pitch this idea. They actually have opening instructions of how to open the can. This was way before any kind of opening device, so you actually had to use what they call a church key opener to punch holes in the top to get at the contents. So the earliest... I've been in the hobby for 45 years now, and so I'm, I'm not an expert in many things, but beer cans is one of the things I can say I am an expert in. These are cone top cans, and these were developed in 1936. So these are what we call party cans, four pint, five pint, and gallon size. This brand, Kruger, which is from Newark, New Jersey, was the very first brewery ever to test market the beer can back in 1935. This was done in... I have an auction company called Can Smart Auctions, and we do monthly auctions of beer cans and other types of brewery collectibles. When I started doing the auctions, I had an idea of what I thought things would sell for, and I have been surprised to find that they've sold for way more than I imagined. If I were to sell off my collection, via my auctions, maybe $3 million or something like that. I certainly didn't spend anything near that. I've built most of the collection by trading over the years. In the really early days, I would go out digging in dumps looking for old cans. I actually went diving in Loch Lomond in Scotland, looking for pier cans. So it's, it's really a lot of sweat equity that I put into it, to be honest with you. For many years, I didn't have a place to display the whole collection, and it was always sort of a dream of mine to be able to do it. So I just kept working really hard and trying to save money over the years. And finally, in 1998, I was able to build the house for the collection. And uh, the way I have it organized is geographically and then by can type too. So uh, starting with the earliest types of cans from 1935. So those have their own section. The cone top cans have another section. The gallon cans have another section. In that way, I can sort of keep things a little bit organized. And when I add things to the collection, I can find the section that they're supposed to be in to see if in fact I need the can or not. Because I only collect one of each different can. You know, in the grand scheme of things, we're all just specks of dust in the cosmos, so it's not particularly important. But I like what Joseph Campbell said. He said, follow your bliss, as long as you're not doing harm to anyone else. So that's kind of my philosophy. I like people who have a passion for whatever it is they're doing. I may not share the passion, but I can appreciate the passion that they have for it. I think I'll probably just keep doing it. You know, I'm sort of dug in now. There's not really any turning back. So I'll, I'll keep doing it as long as I can. <laughs>